Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Lorelai Shamayo. This is Me, We, Metaphysics and Wellness Fairs for Energizing Body, Mind, Heart, and Soul. We have events throughout the Northwest and many online, and we interview our practitioners and vendors so you get a chance to know who we are before you meet us at an event. I'm excited today to be here with Michelle McCree. Michelle, it's lovely to be with you. Thank so, you so much. So what is it that you do? What do you, what do you offer at our events? So at the events, I will be offering... Um, Ayurvedic hair products and skin products. Um, for the skin, it's more of a body scrub, coffee body scrub that I create. And um, for the hair products, it's uh, hair oils, hair butters, and hair masks and things like that. Um, and yeah, it's very sacred, like potent oils that are infused for over two months with Ayurvedic uh, herbs. And I also add in like carrier oils and essential oils that are also amazing for hair health. So that's just a brief um, bout of what I do on that side. And then I also do spiritual readings, um, connecting with others in the spirit realm as an offering. And I work alongside my partner, Alexi, who is also doing a type of a spiritual channeling, but it's more of like connecting, teaching you how to connect with your own spirits rather than being a middle person is what he does. So he will also be at the events. Great, and how did you get started doing, making the products and doing the readings? Yeah, so um, it's kind of a long time coming. I have always been like kind of health conscious and into just really creating my life and not just being in, in life. So I kind of just over time was always making my own things. So. After a while, it was kind of like, well, I'm always taking care of people around me and taking care of their skin and hair. So why not just start offering something for people to have, even if they don't know me personally? So um, that's kind of how it started a couple of years ago. And being in Oregon, it's such a herbal state. You have such access to amazing uh, natural community and herbs and things. So I was able to make it bloom from here. And um, yeah, hopefully that sums it up. And then how about the readings? How did you get started with that? For the readings, um, also kind of a long time coming. I've always been intuitive. It's kind of in my lineage, um, but I kind of the only, the main one from my family to really like activate it and want to bring it forth instead of just letting it be one of those things that you have a skill for it that you don't use. So I've just actively been practicing and, and trying to be a medium for people. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, kind of also recently um, deliberately practicing that and offering it as a, yeah, as an offering and um, yeah. Yeah, and I got really good feedback. So I said, why not? do it at shows like this and really put my skills to work instead of, you know, keeping it for myself. That's great. I, I was wondering if maybe your readings had something to do more with self-care or health or something like that, since your products are in that context. But yeah, mediumship is different. Did you, yeah, have you always been aware that you connected with other spirits? Or Definitely. Like even as a child, certain houses that we lived in in Houston, Texas, um, a couple of them were like haunted and I would feel the spirits. I had to be like eight or nine and I would just feel spirits walking around or trying to talk to me. Or it would be like cold in one area of the house and just the energy is very high and stuff like that. And to me, that was normal until like more years progress and I would be around other people and they didn't really experience that. So as a highly sensitive person and just a very aware like ambivert. It just was something that I couldn't ignore. Um, so yeah, I've always been aware of it. And to me, I just never denied it. And I wasn't religious from a religious background. So I didn't have a reason to be ashamed of it either. So um, yeah, if that explains. Yeah. And so people come to you specifically for mediumship. Do they tend to bring other questions as well? It's funny because um, sometimes people don't have anyone they want to contact. On the other side, they're just like, oh, I've been observing you. I like the way that people are responding to your readings. I want to know what you know, like just read off of my energy or they have like 
they want my advice on something, which I think I'm pretty wise. So I, I give good advice. So they would just like shoot me some sort of life problem and I just, we just talk it out. But um, yeah, so it's funny. They kind of do, some people just come for like aura readings or something, which is fine because I'm pretty good at that as well. Great. Great. And, and your partners, anything you want to share about your partner's journey and how you came to work together? Oh my gosh, he's such a riot. It's hard to speak for him, but um, basically he's very spiritual as well. We actually met over five years ago now in New Orleans, which is historically like one of the most spiritual places ever. And so we were in mutual friend groups um, that were kind of spiritual and like hoodoo, voodoo focused, um, mainly on like the light side and not really because there's different parts of voodoo. Um, so not really doing any like sacrificing and stuff, but it's more of like having a relationship with the spirits is what they practice. So anyway, um, he, he likes to teach um, connecting with your own spirit guides instead of, oh, I'm gonna channel what I'm getting. He wants people, he wants to encourage people how to be their own mediums basically because everybody has that birthright and that accessibility but it's a matter of getting in touch with it so he does his talks at the shows and he will have his counseling uh, sessions at the table to help people get to that stage mm -hmm. great <laughs> great if people want to learn more about you and your products and work with you where do they find you on the web so at the moment, our website is still building, but we can be accessed through uh, Instagram at La Serena Michelle Creations. It's kind of long. Yeah, say it again. <laughs> yeah. At L-A-S-I-R-E-N-A -E Michelle Creations on Instagram. And then from there, we're on Etsy at the moment um, until our website is finished. But yes, so I can be contacted from there. I could always book a session from there and give people my email and, and whatnot. But. Great, great. And I was saying La Serena, it's like LA Siren A, right? Yes. Great. Yeah. La Serena, Michelle Creations. Great. I'm excited to experience more of your work and share it with people. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Glad to be a part of the community. Great. And everyone listening and watching, you can learn more about all of our events at mewefairs.com, M-E-W-E-F-A-I-R-S.com. Bye.